Right, welcome back, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to what is now part 4 of the XL1000 Varadero project. As you've seen it's lots of stripping, it's taking back down to basically the bare bones of it. Last episode mocked up the front end, just wanted to see how it looks, it's not going to stay. But obviously I need some support in the front end while working on the back end. So let me show you where we're at at the moment. So as you remember we stripped out a lot of the back end, all the plastics, tail, etc. I've actually continued to do a bit. I've unbolted all the rear um, master cylinder, etc. and some of the brake lines. Just started on this side. Uh, I've got the coil for the rear cylinder to remove. I've already pulled through the plug cap. The other coil is the front coil is buried up inside there. So we'll get to that one when we move forward. Yeah, so it's just this to take off, pull these wires through, reroute them back up. And then this back end is being cut. The whole back end is coming out. Yeah, I can hear people screaming. But then it gives me more accessibility to the back. This is going to be, this is changing. I've already got plans for this. So that's where we're at the moment, so Grinding disc is ready. Cut through here. Cut through here. I say after I've removed this and cut through that bit, same on the other side. Right, so I've just fed the wire through, disconnected the ignition coil, just pulled everything back up. Also, the air hose that goes to the top cylinder. Again, I've just rerouted that back up so everything is clear, everything is out of the way. Right, let's see if this works. I've done it before, I'll do it again. Yeah, it worked. Obviously, I need to tidy these up, take this down a little bit further. So there's the soft frame. Now we can continue on, strip all this down. The soft frame's not going to go to waste, I've got a plan for that. But so I've just got to finish all these up, take them in maybe a little bit further, just clean them up a bit. Right, let's continue uh, getting the rear end out. We'll get these uh, footrest hangers off. I say because you've got the nut through, because they're connected through with the same bolt as the um, swing arm. Again, these I'm probably going to keep and you reuse. I've got a plan for them. Same with the other side, obviously. But yeah, I need to remove the cap. There's a nut underneath. And pull the swing arm bolt out and I can release yeah I think there's a, yeah, there's a bolt there and same on the other side and these can come out right, get this footrest hanger off
Okay, so that's the swing arm spindle bolt out. Like I said, obviously it connects through, so you've got to remove the spindle bolt to actually remove that hanger. But obviously I've got all the brake lines still attached, so I'm just leaving it to hang at the moment. So it's a case of now dropping the suspension, undoing the exhaust, and now I should be able to pull the back end away from the main frame. So the top bolt is now removed. All I've got to do now is just unbolt the wheel, move the rear caliper and just leave that hanging to one side, release the chain and out it comes. <laughs> There we go. Hold back end out. Shop needs a really good clean. I say everything will need checking, bearings replaced. And that's the whole rear end out. Yeah, so I think next one will be, probably next episode I'd say, I'll start going in from the airbox, get the carbs out, probably look at dropping the engine there and there. But yeah, a lot of cleaning, a lot of work to do. But yeah, I think I'll wrap it up there. I'm pleased with how much I've got done, so I'm just doing literally bits and pieces. Um, as I fill up to it, I'll come out and do a little bit. But as I say, I said, I think I said in an earlier episode that obviously you see the a whole episode, but that's probably taken me a week or more just to do in little bits, and I keep coming back to it and revisiting. But as I say, each time I come out and work on work on this it's it's helping me like I said right at the very start this is not for the purists uh, after this episode yeah it's definitely not but at the end of the day it's my bike I want to change it into something different I mean you know she's she's been with me 10 years this girl I refer to her as a girl We've got a lot of history, and yes, I did consider selling it, but there's an attachment there, so we'll see when I finish. But as I say, it's just chopping away, taking bits at a time. But we'll continue in the next episode. As always, appreciate all your comments, all your feedback, so leave comments in the comments box below. Good, bad, indifferent. You know, I'm not a fully trained mechanic. I don't think get things right every time. 
I, I learn as I go. Don't forget to check out the um, videos at the end of this video. There's going to be a playlist and a best for fewer. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of any new videos. I can't guarantee how often videos are going to come out. I'll do my best. But as I say, so far I'm, in, I'm into episode 4 so that, that's a good sign and it's, it's helping me. But join me again in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.